my closet looks scary let me close that that's better okay so to start off this video i wanted to first just brain dump everything that is stressing me out making me anxious that has been on my mind and whatever and just put it on here and then whenever i have my list of all of the things that have been stressing me out i want to go through each one and see how i can work towards fixing it or fix it in this video so let's go ahead and start just brain dumping a bunch of stuff that's been stressing me out let's go i think i'm also going to break up my list into sections and do let's see let's do personal hmm, work it's probably all personal and work right i'm also going to write down like stupid stuff that's been stressing me out or like things i've been meaning to do like organize my dresser like things like that it's literally just a brain dump of everything i want to get out of my head so i need to finish posting all of my clothes on depop i did a little closet clean out and i cleaned out a ton of stuff so i need to finish posting that okay i'm gonna sit here and finish writing my list because i need to really sit here and Thing, and then I'll come back to you once it's all done. Okay, I spent the last like 30 minutes going through everything, writing down like a bunch of stuff that I want to get done and a bunch of stuff that's been stressing me out. In pink, I just wrote down all of my brain dump stuff. And then in black right here, I wrote down a to-do list of things that I can do today or in the next like week or so to set myself up better for the future and to like clear my brain a little bit, okay? For example, one of the things that's been stressing me out is money. I wrote down to create a payment plan to pay off some of my debts and stuff, which I'll get into later in the video. But another thing which will help me with the money situation is clearing the giant pile of depop clothes that i have to post on depop and so planning a day to set aside to post on depop so yeah i think that's kind of it and then as far as work stuff goes there was a ton of stuff that was work related so i think i'm going to make the that a separate vlog because that would be way too much to do in one video anyways i feel like a good place to start with this would be creating a little vision board for the rest of the year in the next few months i have been seeing people talking about their winter arc on TikTok talk and it really inspired me and so that's why i want to create my little vision board and everything so let's do that okay i feel like so far this whole video has been just me sitting on my bed but that's okay so what i'm gonna do now is make my little vision board like i said for the next few months so i'm just gonna use my little journal here if you follow me on tiktok you've seen me set this journal up and everything but my aunt actually just gave me this little book and it is a vision board book and it just has a bunch of stuff that you can use and cut out for your vision board and it has like a bunch of words and cute pictures and stuff. I already cut out a few like pictures and stuff but I'm going to cut out some more pictures and maybe print some of my own from my Pinterest board. I did go ahead and create a little Pinterest board for my winter arc or whatever. Anyways, let's get to vision boarding. Okay, so as you guys saw, I did my little vision board. Hopefully you can see more of it. I just like cut out a bunch of different words like financial freedom, patience, kindness, goodness, less is more, create dream, dream job, hope, all of that. And then I also just printed out some pictures from my Pinterest and stuff. I'll link my Pinterest board I created below. Now that we have our vision board and our goals written down and stuff, I think it's time for me to tackle more of my to-do list. So let's get into that. We have now entered the cleaning portion of this video. And I feel like I should start by giving you guys like a, a little overview of what we're working with because it's a little rough. Actually, it's not that bad. It's just like everything's messy. Like my office, my bathroom, closet, bedroom, like everything's just kind of messy. So it feels like everything's a lot worse than it is. But let me show you. I did make my bed. So at least that's done. Like, it's not that bad, it's just, I don't know. The difference is, is that I've been like trying to keep it clean, like really trying for the past like, several weeks, like every single night I've been cleaning, I just like can't do it, I don't know why. Like when I'm really anxious and stuff, I have such a hard time keeping everything clean, even when I'm cleaning. I don't know if that makes sense, but like that's what's been going on, so. I think I'm gonna put on some music and we're just gonna clean for like 30 minutes and see how much I can get done. <laughs> Okay, so I have finished cleaning my room. It's definitely not perfect, but it's better than it was before. So let me show you. Okay, all my stuff like on my bed looks like makes everything look a lot messier than it is but i just have like my planner and stuff and my laptop there yeah i think it's a lot better so now that i finished a lot of my cleaning and stuff i feel like it's time for me to finally tackle the giant pile of depop stuff that i need to post my little brother's away at college so i have everything in his room so let me
me show you how much stuff I have left to post. This is my giant pile of stuff that I still need to post. And then on this clothing rack, I have a bunch of clothes that I've already posted as well as some of his clothes that he's posted on my Depop and stuff. So yeah, that's everything I need to post. Obviously, there's quite a lot, so let's get to it. This is a bad one. Ignore my hair. But I finished taking all of my Depop pictures and stuff. As you can see, there's a lot. I don't even know how many clothing items I'm getting rid of. So now I just need to finish like writing the descriptions and stuff for all of that and get all of it posted. I will link my Depop below. I post things for pretty cheap and accept like really cheap offers too. So, yes. Okay. So. Now that we have, you know, like done our vision board, cleaned, did all the things that we needed to do, it's time to get serious and get to business. So I don't remember if I mentioned it earlier, but one of the things that's been kind of like stressing me out is money, <laughs> typical. I feel like people are really afraid to talk about money on social media and stuff, but I don't know, I, I wish people would be a little more transparent, so I figured I would be. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of got into a habit of just paying for things with like paying for or yeah, just like after pay and stuff like that when I didn't necessarily need need to but because I got into a habit of just paying for things with paying for it even when I didn't need to I ended up spending more money than I typically would because I felt like I had more money than I did if that makes sense so so I wrote down all the money that I owed and honestly it wasn't as bad as I thought which is good so yes I went through like all of the after pay like Klarna all that stuff and wrote down everything that I owed so I also have a credit card which I got this year and I've been trying to like build my credit and everything so I've been paying for that like every month and stuff. But I realized I was paying the minimum payment instead of just paying it in full. So I actually owed a little bit more than I had thought, which still isn't that bad. So let me get into it. So in total with including all of my like after pays and my credit card, I owe $621.81. I don't feel too bad about it because I have seen a lot of people talking about the credit card and different debt that they have on social media, which I, I totally understand how people get in those situations trust. But I am in a position where I still live at home and I'm like saving and whatnot and so I have no excuse to have like paying for payments due. Do you know what I mean? I'm in a position where I don't necessarily need to rely on like after pay and stuff like that or credit card debt. I totally get how people acquire credit card debt. I'm not saying that but I'm saying I shouldn't have it. I hope that doesn't come off weird. I'm just saying like because I live at home I have no excuse. Does that make sense? I'm coming for myself not anybody else just to make that clear. So I'm not really gonna get into like the nitty-gritty of paying everything off. I am gonna do it a little slowly just because I don't want to do it all at once and you know hurt my bank account like that so I did come up with a little payment plan to pay everything off but it feels good just to like see everything that I owe in front of me and know you know where my money needs to go for the next little bit if that makes sense so honestly now that I have it all figured out in a plan I feel a lot better so to finish this video off, I wanted to go over some of the like small habits and goals that I'm going to like take away from all of this in order to keep bettering myself. So one of the things I actually did that I didn't show in this video was I went through my notes app and I organized everything. So before I went through and deleted a bunch of stuff, I had I had like four years of random to-do lists. Literally, I had stuff that said like bananas and that was like the only thing in the notes, but I had it in there for some reason. And so now I only have eight notes open, which is actually absurd. Like crazy for me one of my notes that i wrote down was it just says habits to include any like habits i want to include into my life and into my routine even if it's like kind of stupid or whatever it's just stuff that makes me feel good that i want to incorporate more into my routine so i'm just gonna list off a few of them because there's a lot of like there's a lot of like really insignificant little habits that i want to include but anyways one of the things is gua sha whenever i was gua sha consistently i did notice a difference like my face got way sad another thing i want to include and in, in just like my daily life is electrolytes every single day another Another thing is 10,000 steps a day. I definitely do not do that and I know it's so good for you. So I need to do that and make that a priority. The last two things are reading. I really enjoy reading. It's just like I don't make the time for it in my day and I need to because I enjoy it and it relaxes me and we all know I need something to relax. The next thing, again, just something that relaxes me is an acupuncture mat. It sounds scary, it's not. I have one, I got it on Amazon like a year ago or so. Whenever I do it before bed for like 20 minutes, it's almost like a form of meditation, which honestly, looking back, it might be more of the meditation rather than the acupuncture mat itself, but the combination is 
it's nice. So yes, those are just some of like the little habits I want to include into my daily life. One of the things that I said in the beginning of this video that's been stressing me out is not having a routine. I already wrote down in my little scrapbook journal. I don't know if you can see, I put morning routine and night routine and we are just going to write down my ideal morning and ideal night routine. That way I have something I can actually like strive for. I feel like I should write it in my notes app first. That way I can like alter it and it's not set in stone. You know? Okay, so for my morning routine and night routine, I don't want to overwhelm myself with including too many weird little tasks that I want to do because I won't do it because I'll get overwhelmed. For my morning routine, I have make my bed and take my medication and then morning pages. If you watched my How I Journal video, I explained this more in depth there. But basically the morning pages is taken from the book The Artist Way and it's just a way of like getting all of your thoughts out of your head and just down onto paper. It's three full pages of writing every single morning. It's nice. So that and then morning walk either on my walking path that I have or outside. Then I have shower and get fully ready because i work from home and stuff half the time i'm just like looking like this just like in my boyfriend's giant sweatshirt and my hair it needs to be done i just feel like a much better human whenever i'm ready when i put effort into myself that's mostly what it is moving on to the night routine i am a messy gal just like naturally i like to clean but i am naturally just like messy i would like to and start my night by doing a 10 minute clean then from there a shower and self-care self-care meaning like lotioning my body fully especially this time of year i need to do that because i get eczema and then i have gua sha because again i want my face to be snatched please from there I have the acupuncture mat. From there I have planned my next day. If I don't do that, I wake up very flustered. Lastly, I have reading or journaling. I feel like both of them kind of do the same thing for me in relaxing me and stuff. It's up to me, whatever I'm feeling that night, you know? So I'm going to write that down in my little scrapbook and yes. I think that completes today's video. I hope I wasn't too all over the place. I feel like I was a little bit like chaotic in this or at least I felt chaotic. Either way, I hope you enjoyed and if you have been feeling stressed out or a little overwhelmed, maybe take a second and stop. Write down all those things that are stressing you out and handle it from there because you got this we got this we're in this together but anyways i really hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time okay love you bye